Hey guys, this is Nick211 again, and um, I just re I have just received my um, Star Trek the TV series Phaser, and I I was very psyched about it. It looks very 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 similar to the ones in the TV series. In fact, like the exact same replica. So first off. It's, very, it's fairly sturdy plastic. It does have the slightest bit of weight to it a little bit because of the because of the type 1 phaser right here. So let's take a look at it. <coughs> First of all, you got your carbon handle. You got your cool little grip. You got your little, um, trigger right here. I do not know what these are. Probably just for design. <coughs> This is to show the beam or not, you just, I, I believe that's for off, on, off, on, and when you shoot it, you could turn these, hang on, there we go, you could turn these and it would like, make a difference between the thickness and the, how much the beam shows. And this, um, this right here, this, um, you'll pull this up, like that, and then you can pull this out, right now you can just click it right back in. And we got this. This is, this is the overload switch. You just turn it that way. When you pull the trigger, you'll hear the like the explosion. So that's for the pistol itself. Now let's take a look at the Type One phaser. Type One phaser is like a little pocket version of the actual phaser, so you could hide it better. So like, if you're like on a enemy ship. And you just need to whip out some really quickly, and you don't have time to actually get out your full phaser. You can just click this out and shoot it. Oh, and the cool thing is, it has a little button right here. You see that? It's that button right there that I'm pushing. That um, that'll make the um sound go off. And that thing right there will kind of like make red flashing sounds. And this I thought was a really cool idea. This thing right here, you push it up, and this thing comes up. So you can see, like, I'll come up. I figured out that that's like an aiming sight, because, like, you lift it up, and you can, like, aim with it. That was a cool idea. And here's the phaser settings. Face your settings. I'm gonna flip it down all the way back there. It's hard to see with it, but hang on, wait, let me try and focus it. There it is. When it's here, when it's all the way and you can't push it anymore, it's off. And when you push a little more, it'll make kind of just like a little humming sound push a little more, it'll make kind of like a louder humming sound. Push even higher, louder. Push even higher, it'll go louder. And then when you can't push anymore, it's done. Alright, so let's see how this thing actually works. Sorry guys, it's just all right. All right. Now we're ready for some cool action. First of all, 
you have to have this on. Gotta make sure your face is ready. Gotta make sure you're set on your phaser. And then you're ready. First of all, what you want to do is you want to turn it up to the lowest setting you can. And this is what it sounds like. Like I said, low humming sound. And if we were in a really, really dark room, the tip would kind of flash on and off. Sorry about that, but no. That's if I'm at cool. Turn it up a little higher, and this is what it sounds like. I guess that kind of like a louder humming sound. Like I said, louder humming sound. Still the same face, just a little louder, and more stun power. And those two, and the first two that I showed you, those were stun. Now I'm going on to the kill settings. This is the first kill setting. That's what it sounds like. Like I said, louder humming sound. It gets louder and louder and louder every time. Alright, now this is the highest kill setting you can go to. This is one of my favorites. Yet again, it's going to be louder. That's for that's for actually killing somebody. So like, if you were right here, someone's running down the street, and then <coughs> that would be you killed somebody just right there. So um. Yeah, that's really all it does, so, um, oh yeah, let me show you the overload. You, you flip the switch. Sorry guys, my I gotta kind of twist the bone right there. You flip this switch all the way over to the right, no, all the way over to the left. You pull the trigger, and then... And that's overload. That's why you do, like, that's that's kind of like a self-destruct mechanism, basically. Okay, guys, that's really... That's really all it does. Insight, Captain, set faces to stun. Yeah, I really like that one. I really like the um, second one right here because it's the one that I hear most often. Yeah. Yeah. No, let's just take type one face out. I can show you how to use that one. It's the same thing, you can still control it by using this. You push this button. Like I said, you can just whip it out and then... And look right here, you can actually see this will glow. That glows. I'll show you on a little setting. It'll kind of stay there. Higher setting. Gonna go on and off, and then the highest setting, it'll go really fast. All right, guys. So um, that is it for the um, Star Trek, Star Trek the original series, Star Trek the original series phaser. I I really do recommend getting this. I got this at um, Toys R Us, and um, yeah, I got this at Toys R Us. I really recommend it. They also had um, but it was it was the last of the two that were there. 
well, it was one of the, t there were two left, there were two left of these, I got one of them, and there was another one of these, and then there were two communicators, so, you really might want to go fast, because kids are really liking Star Trek. Yeah, and they also had the, um, they also had the communicator, and they had the tribbles, the little balls of fur. I thought those were really cute. So you can buy a tribble, you can possibly buy one of these, you could possibly buy a communicator. If you can't get this or the communicator, buy a tribble. If you can't get anything, order it. So that's really it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Tune in, because I will be putting out more videos soon. Um, stay tuned, and peace.